Today, we are in Daytona Beach, Florida, and we are at the International Speedway. Have you ever been? Let me tell you, what goes with NASCAR, Supercross, Motocross, Jeeps, RVs, of course. And today, we are attending a small RV show here at the Speedway. So stick around, we've got some things to share with you. We're gonna go check this unit, uh, units I should say, and we didn't really plan to find nothing, but as we pulled in here, uh, somebody arrested us to talk about inspection. So Clem, nice to see you. Uh, it was nice chatting with you, but uh, we're gonna go check out these units as just, just people who just walk around but also with an inspector eye. So let's see if they did the PDI on those units before they brought them to a show, which would be not surprising at all, but I'm not condemning. We're just checking and we'll see how it goes as we're going through those units. So stick around. We'll also do some walkthroughs and at the end of this, uh, we'll see which one we prefer, Laurel and I. So let's get going. First oh, unit to walk in, unit. it's a Van Lee Beacon. So let's come on in here. It's a 2023. Hold on, hold on. I want to show it. This is, this is the first one, really. She's already stuck. That's what I was saying. <laughs> this is the parking lot. This is the first unit, okay? I'm just saying. And we got salesmen over there watching us, so. Okay, so coming in here, the very first thing I see already, here this is. It's out of show. It's missing the grate. Like, what are you going to cook on? You're going to put this directly on the stove. That's just quickly walking in and seeing it immediately. This is brand spanking new and they want to sell it at the show. Has been PDI'd. Just saying. So imagine your brand new unit. Yeah, right. It will be PDI. Just like this one to bring to a show. To show the quality of their unit and their service. Just saying. I know we're not nice, but. Can't really see in here. It's dark and I have my sunglasses on. Let's keep on going. Well, so let's, let's try just it. check out another let's unit. Another one. Let's see let's what's see. going on in here. Well, this is kind of nice. self close cabinetry. Huh, that's nice. No slamming cabinet doors. Oh, this one came with the grill. I'm surprised. Oh, this has got a little uh, back room in here, which is nice. And its own little bathroom, oh, wow. full size bed. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Very nice. Yeah, nice wood trim. Nice varnish. See, that's where I think the, the cabinetry is, a, is an well, upgrade in beacons. You can smell the varnish. It's really yeah. dark in here. Queen size bed. Just quickly taking a peek. You've got a place for your washer and dryer. Sliding glass doors. And right here, there's the shade. I found something. Okay, I'm gonna pull over here. Unreal. See this? See the shade? That is really It's uh yeah. A little messed up. But it's for a show. Okay, I don't think anybody's in here. So let's go check out let's this one. Let's go check a solitude. So it's an ST382WBR. And the wood is lighter. Well, this is kind of nice. Oh, they got mirrors in the back of the cupboards. So it makes it look really deep. Just a quick little walk through. You got the bedroom up here. Pierre's looking at the living room. With a curtain that closes the living room off from the kitchen. That's interesting. Wow, it's a huge bathroom. I'm in the mirror. It's kind of a, you are? There you are. No. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay, they put these little nubbies so it doesn't break your mirror, because this is kind of a, these kind of hit each other when you open, but that's just a manufacturer's thingy. Yeah, no. 
gas water heater, so it must be an on-demand system. See, I got to check this. That's Furion. We've got some additional storage. Oh, that's quite a bit of storage there. That's kind of nice right there. Beautiful pantry. Hey, this one, this one has the grates on it, so that's good, so we can actually yeah, cook. See, I was going to say, I thought it was missing rubbers, but no, I guess not. More storage here. Somebody better wash this off the wall. Can you see this? Yeah, but I was ready for, for a show, so it's okay. Yeah, that's true. Even no here. sense to clean that all up. And, and this is the first day of the show, so it's not like people have been walking in here over and over and over. So I don't know what is this, but I'm not going to check it. I don't like the real chairs. So people are starting to come in. So let's try another one. As we're walking through the show, we just want to show you from a quick glance, just a walk through, even with sunglasses on, what we see quickly inside of these brand new units. These are 2023s. Now, once we get in there and we actually inspect and we actually put water to the system and electricity and generators, then we really find things. But right now, we're just showing you the basics. Just at a glance. At a glance. And, and you can do the same thing when you walk in. I'm sure you're going to find like, like Clem, the guy we met in the parking lot says, go check that model, there's a trim missing. That's a customer, that's a guy looking at it. So it, it is easy to find. I understand you can say, well, I, I can find all of those little things. Yeah, the superficial things are, but when you pick up your unit and they claim to you that they did a PDI. They're doing it superficially too. Yeah, exactly. We're actually working in it like you're living in it. We want to touch every component and we're going to know whether it works or not. So this is, uh, Professional malformation, that's what we're doing right now. So yes, I'm sure a lot of them look at us like, what are they doing here? They're claiming that there's something wrong with our unit. Well, if you would have cleaned it, if you would have put it in order before the show, that's what amazes me every time we do a show. Don't you agree? You go to a show and it says, they should be immaculate. I thought they hired people to actually come in, yeah. clean, Set up. put some pretty flowers in it to make it look nice, like it's your home. Beds are not made, it's all, just thrown there and says, okay, I don't know, if I try to sell something at 150000 bucks, I wouldn't you make a little effort? Oh, but that's me. I'm in old-fashioned, I guess. All right, so let's continue. You got another thing to comment about? No, let's go. Let's go. That one, she says it's sold. So that's why it's closed up. But it's even better going in the new ones and finding stuff. I mean, that's yeah. used, so used that's bound to be to normal. Use. But something would happen. I can already see the corner right up there. I can see that. I'd like to go inspect that right there. See, but that's me. So let's go visit a new unit. So one battery, solid two grand design, reflection. Okay, so that's another model. Let's go in this 311 BHS reflection. Let's go check this one out. Let's see what we can find in here. It's a 2023. 311 BHS. Watch your step on these steps. Oh yeah, different longer steps than usual. Well, this is an interesting refrigerator. This is kind of a, ew, sleek. That's kind of an interesting design. Don't put your fingers here at the same time. Whoa, did you see how shallow that is? So that has to be a propane. You gotta be, it is. Wow. Yes, it's, it's yeah. cool, but how many times do you have your hand here and you go, I'm going to open the door? No, this hits your, your hand. Almost pinched my fingers. Well, this door doesn't really shut nicely. Well, See, so she's already yeah. critiquing gotta, the door. Yeah, not exactly. Closer. No, it's just kind of, it's off a little bit. Yeah. But it is what it is. It's just one of those things that we find while looking through. And these are just quick little walkthroughs, just glancing and seeing that uh, things are in place. And then um, you test everything. You sealant and she'll try all the beds and everything that's been there. Oh, in an inspection. Balance. Yeah, it's going to be detailed. Yeah, to see if these fireplace works on all their function and everything and storage. 
And it has this the toast stubber over here. Now look at this oh, toast yeah. stubber. Hmm. I don't know, but come check over here. Okay, so this is off and this over here, right in the corner. Go check out that. Yeah. So trim work to be done. Even this is all kind of crooked pieces of there. Would have been a piece of the refrigerator. Now, of course, I can't tell if this, this shower leaks or not, but it looks nice. Yeah. I'm going to guess that they don't have the slide out all the way because I can stick my hand right in behind the slide, which there's plenty of room on the outside, so I don't think... I don't think they actually pushed oh, it, it out is. all the way. Yeah, it, is. Yeah, it is out it is all the way. But on the sides, this rubber is loose. I know you can't see it, but the rubber that seal the bulb seal that should be behind us, this one is tight. This one is actually loose. Just a this is comment. just just a quick walk through and seeing yeah. these little things might be little, but when we get in here, more than likely we're gonna find more issues. But that's brand new, so you shouldn't need an inspection. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, little seal. See, that's what I was talking about in the slide out in the bedroom. This seal, this one was loose. So this seal in the bedroom was loose, where the one on top is tight, sealed to the wall. So let's go outside, maybe. Maybe from outside, I'll see a different perspective. See, that's when, when her and I worked together. That's the kind of thing that she'll comment. So I'll come out and I'll check this. Okay, so it was on this side side that was, was not out all the way. So that was the bedroom. So that's not the bedroom. This is the kitchen. The so it was kitchen. this slide out, but I couldn't tell. I'd have to measure from this end and the other end to see if there's really an issue. But that's the kind of thing that we would have to watch out. So that's that water on demand that they have that I saw this new this new board that I need to I need to learn and that's why we come to those show too to see all those new things that they throw at us all those new diversity of product that they Lippert comes up with so all right let's go to another one all right so let's say you're buying this site on scene you don't have a clue well I got this one that's not just chip that's a dent in your hood so just saying. I know you'll see it if you walk around, but we would go in depth way more than this. In every ceiling, every corner. That's what I'll do. So when we walk, that's what I always check quickly. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I always check those. And a lot of time I'll find those real fast. Hey, right? this one's got lucky. So the purpose of the inspection, like Laurel was saying, is, is to find things that you are not going to be aware of. See, we've got a different eye. Since we're here, my eye is exhausted. I'm trying to see crosswise because I look at the typical place that we find stuff, like I was just filming the sink as Laurel was talking. So those are different things we're doing. So people are coming in. So we're just going to go chase other units. See you in a bit. So we're here in the Class C, and Laurel just tagged me. We've got sealant, well, clumpy, but over on this side, it's missing. It's all missing behind here. But come on, get over it. You're only paying 90000 for this, so you shouldn't be too demanding. This is a quantum. A brand new unit. Just walking through quickly, right guys? So we're just here to visually see. So over here, where you would sit to watch TV, this is a place where you'd be able to put the TV. It's a beautiful storage area that does not latch at all. The latch is there, but it is not properly installed. And the show, we're missing the light cover. Just little details, but these are the kind of things that if you're going to sell it, you want it to look the best that it possibly can. I don't know how this happened, but this right here, 
is from Organized OB. Now, a couple of months ago, we were in Indiana and we ran into Organized OB. And I'm gonna link them below because you can go to their website and they have so many things in there to help organize your RV. But this is waterproof. So you can put your shampoo and your conditioner and your razors or whatever in this and it's also washable. Organized OB. Link will be in the description below. So far, walking through new units. Now granted, we're down here with the used units, so there's bound to be things to find inside because they've got the sign on them. They say, as is, but a brand new unit. You do not need to purchase as is. We're going through these quickly. We're finding little minor things at a quick glance, running through them, trying to get in as many as we can. Guys, this is why you need an inspection. Just as a quick glance, we are finding small things we haven't even put water and electric to it yet and we also do the used one by the way so this is a coachman 39 foot of some sort so we were just reminiscing on everything we've seen and all the units we see before we get and go see other ones what do we need an inspection talking about why we need an inspection yeah the reason why you need an inspection is because you don't have the time to go through this rig entirely. Everything. What do you do on the outside, Pierre? I look at every crevices, cracks, ceiling, little wall, chips, or like I, I saw this uh, Class C. See, as I'm going around, uh, there's a nail there. But as I, I, I did the Class C with a, a chip in the front hood, I didn't show you, but they saw it because you'll put it in there. But you're checking tires, you're checking the yeah. axles, you're checking all the ceilings, you're checking the ceiling on the roof. You're not going to have time to do that on your PDI or even when you're just there looking at a unit and deciding which one's best for you. And as for me, I've got water hooked up to this unit. I'm going to check for any leaks of your showers, of your faucets. I'm going to go through every electrical outlet, making sure that everything works properly right down to your GFCI. I'm going to check your USBs. I'm going to check your leather, making sure that there's no rips and tears, that nothing is ripped under linoleum because sometimes these slides come in and we have found tears in the linoleum. These are the types of things that you're not going to have time to actually visually and physically inspect but we are, we are your eyes, we are your fingers, we are actually doing everything to the unit as if you were living in it full time. Even if you only plan to use it on the weekend, you're gonna be using it. You know, it's like those. Did you actually go and inspect every component? The electric side, see there's the electric switch here, is it on, is it off? So that's what we do. We inspect every little component, how it works, what it does from the propane to the electricals on both, on both functions. So this is what I do. I'll go underneath, I'll check every weld, every zert fitting, if there is, every system, see there's zerts in there, so if there are in every place, if the system looks like it's solid. I know you won't do that in the PDI, and believe me, they do not do that in the PDI. right above your head, honey. It's a nice little hide off That would be nice. You got this beautiful island, big sink. Hidden under here is your induction stove. You've got a dishwasher, induction microwave. So just kind of coming through, looking, seeing what, what can we find in this beautiful unit. Every TV is on in here. You've got a nice little corner shower. And the tilt of lift bed also, which is nice, kind of gets out of your way during the day, which is a nice feature to get it pushed away. Beautiful closet, extra chairs. It's supposed to be washer and dryer. Why, yes it is. It's Whirlpool washer and dryer. Television. And so I don't know, honey, we've been here. This is linoleum. It's, I love I love the wood look though, but this is the part I don't like. But why uh, in a unit of this magnitude, this price? It's range, not a magnitude. 
No, it's a Fleetwood Discovery. But why put rug? Especially when you're dining. Everybody spills something right onto the rug. Yeah, it would be right there that you would spill it on the rug. Yeah, that height aloft, that is kind of nice. Yeah. So, what do you think after spending half a day here? So we've been here touring what we've gone through. Fifth wheels, we've gone through tagalongs, we've gone through some class C's, we've even looked at some B's, and now we're in the class A. Of course, what's going to be my favorite? The class A. I love this liquid discovery. I love that they're using the lighter wood. Yes, it is mixed with the dark. I prefer it all to be light, quite honestly. But they're really getting a nice window. A lot of these class A's don't have a lot of windows. So it's really dark. But I find this would be quite light. Do you agree? Yes, I do. But I know something Lowell would have found right away. I didn't even go over that. I know. Well, that's why I'm saying. Oops. 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 Yeah. So that's that slide out yeah. must hit. Whoa. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. Hey, no, no, listen. Brand spanking new unit. Brand spanking. Yeah. Why do we have inspection again? So you can like hang your dish rag or something right now. Yeah, there. that's probably what it is. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my guess anyways. So remember. And do never forget. It's, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.